guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I don't know what I'm going to do today. It's 10 a.m. in the morning. Don't know what I'm doing. My, I have a headache. I'm just walking outside. And, oh, hey, Bunny. Why is there this big hole here? Did you do this? There's a big hole right here. Did you do this? Those guys have been up there, but you have always been down here. You barely go up there. Hmm. Weird bunny. And today, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm doing today. Honestly, I woke up at 8 a.m. Decided to go for a walk in my backyard. Also. Welcome to Palette Paradise, where mostly everything is palettes. Those guys are okay. That one's okay. That one's uh, that one's cake needs cleaned out. They're okay. Don't know why their water's that dirty though. This is my bunny. He's okay. One's probably one's pets or something. I honestly know if any of these guys, I do not know if none of those guys are okay. And, last time I left you guys off, these two chickens been hanging out. Again, the brown one's my dad's chicken, the other one is for sale, I guess. You want to see tea, teacup chicken? If that chicken saves that size, that's called a teacup chicken. They get tiny. They're very tiny. Come over here. My, one of my chickens. Teacup chicken. One, another one of my chickens. Oh yeah. Right there's another, another one of my chickens. English is tough, guys. I get that I speak it, but it's tough to speak. And the wild beasts are out, aka the cows. Like I said in my last video, we are gonna slaughter them for their meat. Or they're all my chickens, I guess. Look at that chicken. You can buy that chicken that's drinking out of the water. There's another rooster back there. Look, Chicken Little, my dad's chicken right there. Well, by the way, I know for certain you do not have Barbarox. Not positive if that's a leghorn, but those guys' personality suck. Rhode Island Reds, the roosters are the meanest. The, the hens are actually one of the nicest chickens you can get. Right there, Rhode Island Reds. And yes, I'm starting to go a little bit into more chicken content for you guys. And also the pigs are in there too. They sleep together, I guess. Palette Paradise. Palette. 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 Just let me show you guys how much palettes there are. One stack of palettes. Leaning Tower of Palettes. Another big mamma jamma palette. Half the size palette tower. Palette Tower. Palette Tower. Leaning Tower of Palettes again. Palette Tower. Palatile. Palatile. This one right here, this stack, is no good. It's not tiny enough. It was tiny. We have a lot of pallets.
another one of my chickens. <laughs> my dad just named that chicken, not chicken, named that pigeon right there Crazy Train because that one probably has autism or something. Not trying to make fun of people with that, but it just don't go up there and that's where the other one goes. It just makes no sense to me. At all. Yeah, we'll go up to that one, but not wholly up there. Because my dad said that one and the one that we used to have, it died. But that one was so scared to go up there because the others were bullying us. Lawnmower, lawnmower. I think we have a third lawnmower somewhere. Um, chicken. Tiny chicken. If that chicken sees the size, like I said, it's a teacup chicken. Right there, teacup chicken. Why chicken? You can never get away. Uh, chicken pooping palace, I guess you can say. Chickens roost on this. By the way, I am five foot four. I, I guess, as I was measured, that's how much I was. And the white bird's beauty. I guess. AKA Justice League. That's what good those guys are called. Back with the bunnies. Hold on. Come down here. Hey, come, come down here. I am recording with my phone. Come down here. Wait, there's Snow White, and the other two are anonymous, except for, well, that one. Uh, gray one. I called it Hillbilly because one of its tooth goes out. Yeah, come. I'm gonna close this. No, Mamma Jamma stay in there. Sorry, guys. My camera. I keep on blocking my camera and I keep on doing this when I'm not trying to. Funny. I think these guys are Flemishes or. Great Flemishes, which are even bigger. Sorry on my pronunciation. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken. I wonder what chicken there was. Another chicken. Two males. What were they doing back there? Eh, they're probably brothers. Cows being like cows as usual. Yep, how could I have known? These two chickens get along together. Like I said, if you want to buy that black and white one, like $5. On the spot, no sense. If you want a tip, you can. Look at those Rhode Island Reds. That's actually one of my favorite breeds of chickens. Rhode Island. Alright, there's another all-white rooster. You can tell just by looking at the feet. One is longer than the ladies. And two, look at the feathers that go down there. The feathers are not as long as the ladies, and their legs aren't as long. And plus, when roosters become roosters, their tail gets a tinted look to it. And also, my favorite breed, 
is called a phoenix chicken. And its tail can go, I think, three feet long. Like the back feathers on a rooster, not the, not the, uh, hen. What you doing, Cluck? Like I said, guys, that's my chicken right there. Named Cluck. And then, right there, I think that chicken right there is that chicken's uh, son, I guess. I think that it's a male because of the legs and how it sounds. And then there should be another one, and that's not the right one. Where did that one go? I want to say that these, that family were teacups. They look nothing like teacups. And only reason, well, first of all, let me tell you guys a story. That chicken right there, my chicken. That chicken right there, my chicken. That chicken right there, my chicken. They're my personal chickens. And only reason, they're, by the way, they're on the same family, and I think these two are mutts. Meaning, they are crossbreed. Breed. And the story behind it is we used to have a leghorn, which bred with that tiny chicken I showed you guys earlier. Not those guys. I mean, uh, the one that I said cluck. I bred those two. The cage was actually right here. Now the cage is over there with the two pheasants in it. The cage was right here and they, that one wasn't even born yet, well, hatched yet, it wasn't a hatchling. That one and the other chicken basically had the same boyfriend, which I named Dale, and he was a leghorn. He was a big rooster, I tell ya. Then our uh, neighbor said that he was getting annoying, so we had to ship him down, down that road, going down that road. And it's just nice to see that Life is forming from any type of breed of chicken. My brother even said to me, Different breeds can't breed. Then how in the world was that one bred with? Well, not bred with. How, is, how in the world was that one? Oh. I think that chicken might be a Scorpino because... I'm not roasting any Scorpino because I am Scorpino. It's, uh, Zodiac sign. But, back to the story. Those two chickens, not the white one, the white one wasn't even a hatchling. Those, the chicken that was chasing that white chicken was also in there with its mom. And then they both they had the same boyfriend named Dale. And they were all for my personal chickens, but I didn't care if we get rid of Dale. As long as nothing happens to those uh, three other chickens, I'll be fine. If they get killed, I told my parents, if they get killed, I'm sitting out here with a 22 waiting for those dumb suckers to come back. Not the chickens, whatever killed them. Nay. I don't care if it's a possum. I don't care if it's a raccoon. Heck, I don't even care if it's a darn coyote. I will sit out back. Probably waiting up there. Ready for it to come back. 
And then, bam. Anyways, I just got tra off track. <laughs> I get off track a lot on talking about stuff like this. Or anything else, actually. But that cage, no, it wasn't that one. There's my chicken. <laughs> Another one. This cage right here. Let me sit down right here. That cage right there was their cage, their home. I let all them free range for about a day or two, put them back in. And then I realized I can't keep on doing this, so I let them out. And before I could do anything, um, Dale and that mother cook, bread, which I wanted, and then she had two kids, one of them died and one of them survived. The one that survived was that white one I was showing you guys. Oh, hey, look at that pretty pheasant. Pretty. Any pheasant is pretty. Those guys are stressed because look how at the size of their cage they're in. Those guys are stressed. All, all these guys are stressed except for that quail for some reason. Again, my rabbit ain't stressed. At all. It's just like, it's like in life. Well, I used to take care of that rabbit, but now my brother does. Even though, one day, I came out to Lee and I found out that he was, he had uh, food in his cage and I was like, I didn't come out to feed him. <clears throat> I didn't come out to feed him. And then, out of nowhere, I thought my mom was going to be mad at me, but no, she wasn't. She said, if Easter goes outside, you're taking care of him. And I was taking care of him for about a week and a half. But now he's just, he's still my rabbit, no matter what anybody says. If he dies, um, if he dies from natural causes, that's okay. But if he dies from a predator, you should already know the answer to that. We actually used to have, um, cornix quails when I was younger, and then they were my dad's, and then a possum came by and ate off their heads, because they were too stupid to realize, hey, if we poke our head out, maybe we can actually get out, and a possum came and ate their heads. It's a harsh life animals live. I still eat their meat, so I'm perfectly fine. Right now, I'm just sitting here telling you guys stories. And actually, I did walk out on Dale and that cluck breeding. And Dale was two times the size of Cook. And my brother said, hey, two chickens can't breed. Well, they can if they're the same breed. And I was like, then how do you get a choky chicken? Or, or silk chin chicken. Silk chin. And th that's a crossbreed between a chicken and a silky. And for some reason, he said, No, you can't. And I said, Yeah, you can. And then he just went inside and said, I'm not gonna say what he said. 
anymore. But, well, oh well. My miniature chicken bred with a gigantic rooster. So I proved him wrong. And that's the story about Dale. Now, like I said in my last video, I at least want to get a message from Flair on Instagram or KG, at least to KG to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Both of them just to subscribe. And then, it would be perfect. Cows down there, again. In the same spot. I guess I'll title this video. Mm. Storytelling about my chickens. Like I said, these chickens would, I guess they're mine for my business. And if you live in a different state, I'm trying to figure out how I can get to you without buying a plane ticket or driving a car there. 